New Zealand, a kaupapa driven economy. Kia ora. Thank you. I call David Bennett. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It was a great pleasure to follow on from the last two speakers, and I thought both of them indicated two fundamental uh, points of view, which I think the New Zealand public and the world are actually awakening up to at the moment. And uh, this embrace supply debate is crucial for that because it reflects the vision of this government and how we deal with our economy and build a stronger future for New Zealand. And the two things that I think were important were the first thing that Chris Tremaine talked about, and that was the need to get your economic fundamentals right. Um, the days of living... You're losing, Steve. No, no I, th I think Steve needs to listen and learn. The thing that you need to do is you need to get your economic fundamentals right. As, as Chris Tremaine said, it's like a household. You can only do what you can afford. You have to be careful in how much you borrow, and you can't live beyond your means. Some really basic economic fundamentals that the Labour Party can never support. The second issue that the Māori Party raised, which is a very important issue, is that we need to look long term. We need to look at governments and, and economic management that delivers for long term solutions because you're looking at a world that has changed. The economic environment has changed in the last five years and it is changing by the day. Because if you look at what's happened in the last... No, it's changed because what is happening is you've had the raise, r r raising of the Asian economies to being much more dominant and you've had that European Western model that America and Europe had engaged in falling apart in the sense that it is not the economic fundamentals of the future. We have gone back to a situation where you had to earn your way in the world, that you actually had to work, that you actually had to save, that you actually had to invest, and that you actually had to sell things to the rest of the world to survive and progress. The things the Asian economies are doing so well, the fundamentals of economic management that we did so well many years ago, but due to the Labour, the Labour Party type mentality, the West lost that. And the West is having a wake-up call now that it needs to get back into the game. The other thing the Asian economies is showing is what the Māori Party has indicated, that you need to have a long-term view. That governments cannot just make promises anymore on what will be necessary to win elections. And the Labour Party is crucially defunct in this area because they always just make promises to win elections. They never look at the long-term impact of what they're promising. It's all about them and their power base. That's all they ever want. And the reality is coming to hit home. You are having riots in England now because people are not working, they're not getting good educations, they're not doing the economic fundamentals. You've had government after government promising these promises that are unaffordable and will not lead to long-term strong economies. And that's what you've had happen in America and Europe at the moment. And that's not going to happen in New Zealand because this government takes a long-term view like the Murray Party and we understand the economic fundamentals that Chris Tremaine talked about and we can get it right so that New Zealand can actually deliver that strong economy and take advantage of the modern economic environment that will be based in this region going forward. And that will be a big lesson for the Labour Party to understand because they can't even fathom what it means at the moment. They don't even know what economic management is. They put this country into recession when the rest of the world was booming. How could you do that? And they had a plan for New Zealand, the plan that Stuart Nash forgot about at question time today, the plan of making New Zealand have deficits for the next 10 years, of borrowing billions of dollars to pay for their election promises, short-term election promises, out there just to win votes, not long-term looking at building the productive and economic base of this country. And that's... Oh, look at that. We've got them coming in with their asset sales. That's all they can talk about. They can't actually deal with the economic issues that we face as a country going forward. 
And what the Labor plan would deliver is more debt. Now, is more debt a good thing to have at this time? Go ask the Americans what more debt means. More debt means you get downgraded. When you get downgraded, what does that mean? That means that you're going to be in a situation where you have higher interest rates for your people. And the people in New Zealand don't want higher interest rates. The biggest thing you can do for a household out there is not um, drop the price of milk by changing the laws around what the, somebody can sell one product for. What you can do is actually keep interest rates low because that's the biggest bill that somebody's household will face. Interest rates need to be low. And what did Labor do when they were in government? They had some of the highest interest rates for the last decade. They were in a situation where, remember those 9% interest rates that we had when the world was growing well and Labor was in government? What are the interest rates now? You're saving a lot of money out of households because we've got lower interest rates out there and delivering for ordinary Kiwis. And that's the reality of the situation. Now, we had one speaker there that that's, uh, he spoke a bit earlier, uh, and I think it was in the general debate about the, the saying that his people haven't been looked after and his people um, just aren't delivered by this government. Well, maybe it's not a question of this government delivering for people. Maybe it's a question of people making their futures in this work country and in this region, of looking forward, not expecting government to deliver the answers, but looking at themselves to get those answers. Because in this world, you won't be given a free ride by anybody. And that's the message that you're getting out of the debt crisis coming out of America at the moment. There is no free ride. You have to earn order. your way. Order. You have to actually order. say. Order. The member in every second sense, sentence brings me into the debate. Oh, sorry, Mr. Speaker. And, uh, <coughs> and As a country, the, uh, we have order. to earn it. I'm standing. There's a lot of things you're saying which I agree with, but you, can't, but you cannot include me, David Benham. No, thank you. <laughs> when we look at that, a country needs to earn its way in the future, and individuals need to earn their way in the future. And what are the secrets of that? Getting a good education. And the National Party is delivering on providing those standards in education and providing a future for New Zealanders where they get that good education to go forward. What do you also need? You need jobs. Order. Uh, what, yes, sorry. He's got a job. What we also need are jobs for our people once they've been educated. And those, those jobs will be delivered. And the jobs cannot be delivered in the case we, where there is a high tax rate, which the opposition is, uh, is seeking to impose, that would be destructive on growth and the, uh, and the promotion of people taking advantage of opportunities and making choices and actually taking some risks and building more industry and more jobs for people going forward. So the National Party is providing that economic environment that will provide those more jobs for the people that are more educated and well educated to take advantage of the jobs. The next thing that National is doing is we are providing the infrastructure so that those businesses can grow and provide even more jobs going forward. That infrastructure is crucial for this country going forward. The Labor Party does not want to see that infrastructure go forward. They want to cut that infrastructure spending and just use the money that they will borrow from overseas for handouts for day-to-day -day living rather than looking long-term. And I think the crucial thing that this uh, economic uh, situation the world has found itself in is that we need to look long-term, we need to have that infrastructure, we need to invest in education and we need to have a financial system that engages people and lets them take risks and builds that economic growth. And that's what the National Party is delivering. Compare that with the opposition, which thinks short term what it needs to win an election, which has got no chance if it carries on with its current economic policy. It doesn't look at economic policy 
that will actually grow an economy. It looks at economic policy which will pay for its short-term promises and doesn't want New Zealand individuals to be the best they can. The Labor Party Sorry to interrupt the, the Honourable Member. His it. time has expired. Mr. The Honourable Mr. Ian Gelsell. Mr Speaker, I've listened to members opposite uh, talk about the household and I've actually considered that some of their comments have been somewhat patronising. You know, live, don't live beyond your means. Um, you know, you've got to make 